Hey everybody, Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. Good morning. I always <laughs> say good morning because it's morning to us. Yeah, it's morning to us. They may not be watching it of a morning. Exactly. Yeah. And one more day, tomorrow morning, we head out to Mississippi. To the state of Mississippi. Yeah, absolutely. And we're looking forward to that. We don't mind telling you where we are right now, and we're going to be doing a video about this particular campground. But we're at Mom L Campground, which is a Corps of an Engineer campground on the Arkansas River. Uh, near Little Rock. Not too far from Little Rock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, technically, I think we're in Maumelle, Arkansas. Yes. I think is what they would say. Yes. But anyway, I, what we wanted to mention before we show you Tim's video of his awesome eight and a half by twenty oh my goodness. cargo <laughs> conversion trailer. <laughs> wow. He puts some Something thought process else. in this one. <laughs> uh, Tim is a wonderful guy. Keep in mind, folks, that uh, as with all uh, cargo trailer conversions. It's always a work in progress, always. wouldn't you say? Yeah. Absolutely, because yeah. you're always thinking of this or that. Exactly. <laughs> so he's still got a little bit more things he's he going to... his shoulder. Yeah, he did hurt his shoulder, so that kind of slowed him up. So he does have some more tweaking to do. Yes. But uh, you're going to find this to be really cool and it awesome. It just shows you what you can do. Oh, man. <laughs> it's just unreal what he's been able to do with, uh, with what he's got. But what we really wanted to mention right quick... In the course of the video, he will mention his dear friend, Willie. Yes. And what was his last name? Taylor. Willie Taylor. Now, Willie Taylor uh, passed away recently. And Willie Taylor was a cabinet maker. And uh, when he found that uh, Tim was going to be doing this project, he wanted Tim to bring the trailer over to his place and park it next to his shop. And uh, he wanted to be a part of this uh, conversion, this build. Right. So, uh it was obvious that Tim had um, some very deep feelings before, towards his good friend, Willie. So we are dedicating this video and Tim as well to his good friend, Willie. We hope you enjoy the video. All right, everybody, this is Bill with I Ride Tiny House Adventures and I'm standing here with Tim and Tim has an awesome eight and a half by 20 by seven foot tall cargo trailer conversion toy hauler. And I mean to tell you, it is really a cool toy hauler. Say hi to everybody, Tim. Hi. <laughs> hi. Anyway, uh, first thing I want to talk about, Tim, I can't help but notice this really cool window you got here. Can you tell us a little bit about that window? Yeah. I was looking at campers and trying to figure out a window and I run across these on the new camper and it's just got a rubber seam and when you tighten it down it's seamless and you can open it and crawl out it if you need to get out it and then the other side just opens a little bit but standing on the outside you can't see in but when you're inside you can see out so i really like it real well well i think it looks really neat i mean it looks a whole lot better than the standard kind win yeah. kind of windows that we uh, normally see on a on a cargo trailer so yeah, it's really you, really cool you yeah. can about double the price on them <laughs> i'm sure of, i'm sure of that too um let's see now you've got i see you've got uh, how many lugs here so that means you've got 5200 pound axles on this probably right yep. yeah and I notice you have a RV door and you still have the uh, the latch type lock along with that. Yeah. And of course, uh, everybody always asks, how do you keep how do you keep people from locking you in? Well, yeah. you just take this and pull it down and lock it. That's right. That's all you got to do. And then plus, on the back they lock, you lock them and you can put a latch on your tailgate from the inside then that way you can unlatch it and get out of there the you tailgate go. or you can crawl out the window they can't they can't that's why i put that window in there like that so they can't lock me in there you go i got you all right i noticed you got a couple of pro propane bottles up here so evidently uh you run you, you uh, heat your trailer with propane is that correct yes I, I i've got it to where i can heat it with propane uh-huh like an RV unit in there, and then I've got it where you can, uh, the air conditioning on top, has got the heat strips in it, and you yeah. heat it. Then I got a little electric fireplace I can put in and heat with, too. Yeah. So I've, I like more than one source to... I understand. Well, yeah, you're, you're definitely prepared for any yeah. scenario, yeah. that's for yeah. sure. Absolutely. So is the propane only used for heat, and that's it? That's it. That's, that's all it? I've, 
okay. I've got it designed where I can go under the cabinets and I've got electric hot water, but if I wanted gas, I've got it where the gas line runs right through there and all I have to do is tee it up uh -huh. and I can have hot water or I could put in a cook stove, but we prefer cooking outside, so we just ain't, we just got a hot plate we cook on if we're going to have to bad weather. Or something. I understand. I understand. And I noticed also you've got uh, some of the. You also use an equalizer hitch because I can see part of the yeah. setup here. Yeah, I use the equalizer hitch, and I use airbags on my truck too and in between both of them I don't get no swaying around or nothing. Now see right here this is your uh, water inlets right here. That's for my water tank and this is for uh, hooking up uh, to, the to the city water. Line, city right. water. Uh -huh. And then here's your power inlet right here. Yeah 30, 30 amp power it just twist and lock right. turns on there where you can't can't come off. Okay. And while we're back here, let's step on back because you had this thing going before I got here. So you had the air conditioner running, so it'd be nice and cool on the inside. But I see you're, uh, this is uh, what a lot of people are talking about right now the Predator uh, 3500 watt uh, inverter generator. And how do you like it so far? I like it real well. Uh huh. And the way I'm set up with the generator, and I can uh, put three gallon in it. And just let it run like 30 minutes or 40 minutes of an evening. And you can, if late of the evening, you top your batteries out, take a shower, do whatever you want. And so you ain't burning but about $8 a week if you do it that way. There you go. And with the solar on top, you can't get by any cheaper than that, you know. you There's lots of times you don't even have to turn it on because your solar is taking care of everything. Gotcha. Speaking of solar, why don't you tell us about the panels you have up on top? I've got uh, 1100 watts up there and I'm hooking another one up to it uh -huh. and then I've got a windmill that I'm hooking to it too and so the windmill is like 1600 watts and the solar will be 1200 watts on top of it so wow and between both of them it's should do a lot of run a lot of stuff <laughs> absolutely and we're going to go inside and take a look at uh, how you've got it all set up on the inside as well here in just a little bit all right tim here we are inside uh, tim's trailer and first thing i that hits me tim when i walk in here is all this fancy woodwork <laughs> yeah there's Man, a bunch you, of it <laughs> you just went all out on this woodwork it's just yeah. unreal so uh why don't we start up front and we'll kind of work our way to the back. How's that? Okay. Okay. Well, we got these cabinets. Me mm -hmm. and a buddy of mine built these cabinets. And uh, Willie, I can't leave his name out because he was a cabinet builder and he talked me into taking it up there because I told him I was going to build one and he wanted to be involved in it. And uh, anyway, he put the easy shut doors in and stuff for me and he was kind of my coach. He kept me in line while I was working on it. Uh huh. And uh, anyway, uh, we built this little piece here for so we could get more cabinet space. Right. In there like that. And uh, then we built the microwave and all of it, we'd never done that. So we drilled some holes and we bolted the microwave in so it couldn't go nowhere. And uh, it was, quite a chore getting everything built into it. We put this big sink in and we got our water pump. Well, that is a big sink there. Yeah, yeah, yeah and uh, the cabinets go back in here and I've got a shut off where I can dump the water mm -hmm. out of my tanks back in there and just a lever I can turn. And then I wanted to make it where it was easy to get to because I've had a lot of campers and you can't get to everything. Mm -hmm. and so I put the tank pump right here close to fry, put the hot water tank there close, everything easy to get to. Let me get another shot of that in there so you, yeah. and that's your pump right there? Yeah, that pump's right over there. Oh, it's on over to the... Yeah, and I've got shut off, so you can shut off where you can disconnect and ah. do whatever you want to yeah. do. There it is right there. Let me get yeah. a good shot of it yeah. like that. And, and then, then your little hot water tank, and then you got storage back here too, see? Uh -huh. I've got stuff in there right now, but that's what I was saying. If you wanted to change your hot water to a gas, you could. You've got mm -hmm. room. You got room for another heater if you wanted it. 
and so that's an electric hot water tank there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. In about five minutes, you got hot water, and I mean scalding hot. And I wanted a shower big enough for me to get around in, so I built a pretty good size shower. We step over here. Yeah, and I put. Uh, I worked and I, I had a few pieces left over so I started building these corners and I done this in here first and I thought well man after I got through with that crown I thought that looks so good I gotta put it everywhere else so I just never stopped I just kept going. <laughs> you just kept on hanging trim everywhere yeah. didn't you? Well it really yeah. came out beautiful yeah. sure did. Yeah these little old pieces here. Yeah let me get some good shots of that right there so people yeah. can see what kind of work you put into this. This is yeah. unreal it really is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, while we're here, let's talk about the toilet here. This is, we built this door, cedar door, and I put latch on it so we could uh, lock it. Uh -huh. Then I put more latches, these to latch it where it latched up and down. Then I've got my toilet in here and my medicine cabinet we built and put the little pieces up around in it too. And. Well, it's just really beautiful. Then put, built me a little piece to store stuff in. Mm -hmm. Then my batteries go on both sides. Yeah, we'll talk about them here in just yeah. a little bit. Tell yeah. us about your toilet. So let's tell us. Yeah, this is a, a this is an ice toilet mm -hmm. for ice fishing. It runs on 12 volt, and you flush it right there, and you do, it's just got a bag in there. And when you push the button, the bag. Uh, you, the bag goes down and sucks and twists and pulls out another bag. I see. And then on cleanup, all you do is just pick it up and shove it down in a trash bag that's down below that. Well, that's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, that's all. pretty neat and it yeah. works good. And tell us about your fridge. You were telling me about this fridge. This fridge will run on 24 volt or 12, but this trailer is set up on 12 volt, so. It, this is set up on 12 volt and it runs off the solar and I've never had nothing go bad in it. It's, it just works continuous. All the time. All the time, even in the clouds. Yeah. And these just little old freezer drawers the, in there. It's got ice in there. Uh -huh. So the freezer's on the bottom and the yep. fridge part's up on top. Yeah. And what brand is that? I'm sure a lot of people uh, are. It's a Star... It's made by the Amish. It comes from Missouri Wind and Solar. Okay, so if they if they uh, con con make contact with uh, Missouri Wind and Solar, they could yeah. they could put them onto it. Okay. Yeah, and I built this wood to go around it and raise the ice box up because that's uh, where the gas heater was where we was outside. Yes, sir. And the gas heater, I just put a vent in front of it. And then there's the unit itself, a little heater, mm -hmm. and that way I can get in there to work on it and do whatever I want. Yes, sir. And I got the shut off on it. So I've got it set up pretty nice where you can get to it, where it ain't built in tight, where you can get in and do whatever you want. That's what it's all about. And Maybe this here is on. just decorative. This piece here, uh -huh. cause there's a hole cut here and there's a strap around that ice box that holds it in. And there's just a couple of screws holds this in. You take it off, and you can get to your ice box and get it off. And this is a ostrich. Uh huh. This is ostrich uh, table, but the table just folds down. Mm hmm You can just fold it down or up, and that way you, for your toys, you got mm -hmm. room for your toys. Gotcha. And then this table here does the same. Mm hmm It uh, folds down. The lag just goes under it like that, and then that just folds against the wall, and it opens your toy hauler up where you can put your toys in here. There you go. There you go. And you mainly built this to haul your Polaris slingshot, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know when you stopped by to see us that day, that's what she's driving was yeah. your Polaris slingshot. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then we got your uh, window here. Yeah. This is alligator. Let me get a close shot of that. This is all all alligator. Uh huh. All the way around. Then uh -huh. I got a rope design wood around it and alligator back in here. <laughs> then the window itself, the shade is, it's a uh, moat control. Uh huh. Wow. 
you can stop it wherever you want. Or you can just keep it on going yeah. too, until it f yeah. fully closes all the way, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Then see, you can see through it. You're, you can take it and put it back up where it goes. <laughs> Uh, then that, we've got we built these little old cabinets up here, mm -hmm. and they all got the latches on them where they want to. Then we put 12 volt in where we could charge a fan or run these little 12 volt fans. Yes, sir. Or charge of phones. Put and my I'll, fire extinguishers in. All right, now tell us about your. Uh, this is your nerve center for all the electronics in here. Yeah, this so. is a. This TV is Samsung and my phone Samsung and I can just hit the button and program them together mm -hmm. and I can watch any movie that you want. Yes, sir. And then up here is uh, for the antenna that's up on top. And this here, all this come from mains. This is a controller for the solar and wind and this is dump station for the wind and this is controls your... Uh, windmill it, it'll break it or free flow or put it up on charge and uh, anyway then there's a small inverter here that's uh that small inverter's 2000 watt 4000 startup power and i've got it run to the front for like making coffee or you watch tv or whatever and over here is a ames 3000 watt inverter and it's got the charger built in it so you can charge your batteries up quick with this mm -hmm. and, and it works great and then i just got my little breaker box here mm -hmm. and i've got these batteries is 210 amp hours a piece so there's 840 amp hours because you got four of them all together four right? of them mm -hmm. yeah okay and uh and those are agms right yeah, AGM batteries. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. okay then we got a sleep number bed. We've got it where it just folds up against the wall. And the reason for the sleep number is because the sleep number is air. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the air, you let the air out of it, then you can fold it up out of, and get it out of your way. I see. So is that what that, uh, that These, clear hose is for? Yeah. Okay. And this here hooks to it. And then you just got a moat control and you adjust each side of your bed. I see. So uh, you let the air out of it, then it allows you to squeeze it up tighter against the wall. Yeah. yeah wow. For a ring. And I see you carry on your trim work all the way back to all the back. All the way back. Yeah. And uh, even done the little teardrops in the back. Yeah. Well, it just really is neat. And I'll tell you what, folks, too. Uh, I wish uh, wish there was a way you could smell the cedar in here because it really is a it, there's a lot of cedar smell in here and it's really very pleasant it's really cool the way this all works out together now tell us how you've got this insulated we talked about that a little bit I sprayed foam insulation in the ceiling mm -hmm. and then I used the starboard foam insulation on the walls that's got the aluminum on it to mm -hmm. reflect the heat and I filled put put the panels in the walls that way in there and it stays warm and cool in here now that's a Dometic uh, 15.5 BTU yes. Uh, yes. air conditioner but you also have the heat strips in it as well yeah the, uh -huh. the heat strips work real well mm -hmm. you know I was always told that oh you don't want to use them you don't want to use them but I've messed with it and played with it and it'll warm this trailer up pretty quick. Uh -huh. You know, I ain't been out in it when it was zero, but I've been out last winter when it was 30 degrees coming out and working on it. And that's what we heated it with was, was the heat strips and it done a good job. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, this is just really cool, Jim. Uh, Jim, you're not Jim. <laughs> Tim. You're Tim. Yeah. I still can't get over all the intricate little yeah, things like look, this right here. This is this is real ostrich. Uh-huh. And I was in the wintertime wasn't doing that and I built this little piece and sloped it from the wall, then I put me a light in there. Then of a night time I've got a moat control light. I can just hit that light if I need to get up in the middle of the night and it, and you ain't gonna wake nobody up or bother nobody because it's just one little light on. Just enough, just enough so you can see where you're going and yeah, what you're doing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Alrighty, now as far as your uh, freshwater tank, how big is your freshwater tank? It's I've got two 15 gallon tanks, or I've I, I got 30 gallon of water on board. Okay, all right. And then I've got room if I want to add another one under there. Okay. You know. And where are they kept? Your freshwater tanks? They're underneath. Here, they're back behind this wall in the corner. I got gotcha. you. Okay. They're back in the corner. Mighty fine. Mighty yeah. fine. And let's see, we didn't talk about this. Looks like you have a, is that a fantastic fan? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You can just crank it up and, and it works good. And the reason I didn't have room for more than one vent, so I got one vent and I've got it by the, everything's so small, so it's here by the kitchen, uh -huh. the bathroom, and the shower. So, and it'll pull air good from every spot, you there know. There you go. There you go. So I, that's why I put it where it was, so I could catch everything. Gotcha, gotcha. Then I just got this TV where I can I can just cover everything up if I want to. Uh huh. Hey, this is your for your aims to turn your aims on. It'll take it a little while, and it and it goes to a transformer switch, and it'll uh, kick on the power here in a little minute. On aims, it'll take just a minute or two because it's going through a transfer switch, mm -hmm. and it'll it'll start this it'll start this up, and you'll hear the microwave come on, and everything. And you can if you're plugged into the generator, you can charge off of it, do everything off this control control here, and you can see what your batteries is doing, everything. You, and you, if you want to look at your, how much watts and stuff on your solar will be over there. But this controller here will do, see it click, the uh -huh. microwave, it click. everything comes on. The There's the TV. Yeah. And let's see, uh, did, your, did your microwave come on? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yep. here's yep. the microwave. So we're, yep. we're, we're, on, we're, on, we're off grid. We're totally yep. off grid right yep. now. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And, and you can turn the air on if you want to. You're off grid here. And you're running that off of this. Inverter right here. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah, that, you feel right there. That's oh, yeah, I feel it back here. Cover there. <laughs> I feel it back here. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. So it's pretty good setup. Yeah, it is. Absolutely, absolutely fabulous. It really, really is. Well, Tim, we really appreciate you taking the time to show us your uh, beautiful conversion here. And um, you've already had it out several times, is that right? Or a few times? Well, anyway? I've, I've just been out in it once because I had surgery on my arm. That's right. Tore my rotator cup up, and I'm just, uh, I'm just getting now where I'm getting interested in starting to. I'm gonna put some more trim in here, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put something over these two, and it'll probably get ostrich or alligator over these fender <laughs> wells and trim around them to kind of blend in with the rest of them. I got you. Yeah, and while we're at it, I guess we need to uh, you need to tell us about your floor right quick. Uh, that's uh, yeah, this come from Lowe's and it's got uh -huh. a rubber under it mm -hmm. that helps insulate, and it's it's uh, also got uh, wood on top, mm -hmm. and it's a thin layer of wood, and it's a uh, it's supposed to be a hardy floor. It's supposed to hold up, good. and it clicks together, snaps together, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not yeah. a glue down type, right? Yeah, but okay. it's got glue and everything. It's sure. done where it can't slide or nothing. Ah. But I left a gap around so when I trim it, so it can span and do exactly. What it needs yeah. To do. All righty. Anything else you want to point out to us before we? Well, I can't think of it except well. it's got a lot of lights and they're all on remote control. <laughs> yeah. But not all of them. See right there, you can. Uh, yeah. They get the lights on remote oh, control. Yeah. Uh -huh. And these back here, you can uh, shut all lights off underneath yeah and then there's lights right here that you know you can turn on and off wow right here then underneath like if you're just wanting lighting on your floor uh -huh. then there's lighting up underneath your cabinets right here <laughs> there's two under there yeah. you can shut them off hopefully that'll show with the camera and yeah it probably yeah anyway then but there's lights everywhere. Well, if you count the lights, it's probably, if the lights is worth $10 a piece, we, we could probably go to town <laughs> on the lights. <laughs> it's been fun. I, I enjoyed building it. And I, 
that's why I ain't gonna probably will never be through with it. I'll probably just keep doing little stuff to it. But I gotta quit sometime or I'm gonna have it too heavy. <laughs> well, it's really it really came out sharp. It really, really did. And we really appreciate you taking the time to show us your handiwork here. We really do, Tim. So uh, anyway, we're going to sign off for now. And this is Bill with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And as Deb and I always like to say, we're not camping, we're living. All right, y'all take care and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.